beautiful people, my name is Nistaku and welcome to My Neighbor Anide. This is a game that, um, what do we do? We played it, we played from the same creator, that's what I'm trying to get at. We played Scarecrow, if you remember that, and we also played That's Not My Basement. No, that's not my <laughs> It's called It's Not Me, It's My Basement. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I just got back from my trip too. Um, so this is my first recording back from my trip. Uh, it was great. I have blisters all over my body now for some reason. Monkey pops, may I die? I don't know yet, but let's get started. This game apparently has a very, very messed up ending. Um, yes, we need content warnings for the lovely people. This game contains themes and depictions of the following. Strong language, brief, a ableism blood death gore cannibalism discretion is advised cannibalism for a pixel game oh is that us the only memories i have of my mother are from the pictures on the wall as i understand it my mother left my father sometime after i was born i don't know why and no one ever told me but it did create some tension in my household oh dad upset oh oh my bad. Dad and my big sister Tabby used to fight a lot. I don't even know what most of their fights were about because at a certain point I just turned off my hearing aid as soon as I heard the yelling start. I mean, that's a bonus. I think it had something to do with my dad being too strict from the way Tabby would rant about it after. But I didn't want to get involved and I didn't want to pick sides. I loved both of them and didn't understand why they couldn't get along. I'm sorry. I was there, and I knew the three of us were all capable of creating happy memories together. So I didn't understand why it couldn't always be like that. Aww. At one point, the fighting got so bad. I'm sorry if you hear that. There's, I think, a leaf blower outside. I remember hearing, right before I turned my aid off, Tabby saying something like, Now why? I, now I get why Mom left. Ooh! Oh, I didn't turn on my hearing aid for the rest of the night and naturally took it out to go to bed later. But I ended up being jostled awake in the middle of the night by Tabby. Oh, she had a strange expression on and was wearing a backpack over her shoulders. Oh, is she leaving? She was pushing her childhood stuffed toy into my hands, speaking to me, but of course I couldn't hear her. She must have realized that, though, because she looked like she laughed a little to herself and then signed me, signed to me, I promise, to write. Then she got up, walked out, closed the door to my room. And I never saw her again. Ah, she did leave. Tabby ran away that night. I'm not sure to where. She did write, as promised. She sounded like she was having fun out there. Meeting new people, doing new things, but there was never a return address. I don't know how she ever got the letters to us. I was sad I couldn't write her back, especially because Dad and I didn't stay in that house forever. We moved, more than once, for work stuff, for money stuff, you know how it goes. So we haven't gotten any letters since. It's been years. I hope Tabby's still doing okay. I carry around the toy she gave me everywhere. So at least she feels close. Despite everything that's happened, I still like my dad. We get along really well, and I can tell he loves me. We're always doing things like playing baseball together and going to the movies. He even plays video games with me sometimes. He's actually pretty good. <laughs> Tabby always used to talk about him being strict, and I wonder if part of that stuck with him. Because ever since she left, I feel like he's been pretty loose on the reins. He even pushes me to go outside and get out of the house. Aww. Even when I don't want to. Oh, Seems like it really took it. Oh, that's a little plushie! Allie? Yeah? What are you doing? Watching TV. That's what you were doing this morning! Come on, you still have a few hours of sunlight left. Go play outside for a bit. Get some fresh air. Ugh, come on. I don't want to go outside. What if Pincer's out there? I thought you and Pincer were friends. We used to be, but he sucks now. Hey, language! 
Well, he does. Oh, I'm just finishing up some paperwork. When I'm done, I don't want to see, see you still on the couch. You can watch more TV later. It's not like they're playing anything new at this hour anyways. Ugh, fine. Ooh. Move using arrow keys, press space, or enter to interact with objects. Press X to open the menu. Ah, oh, wait, okay, hold on. I gotta adjust my keyboard situation then. Okay, all right, I'm ready. <laughs> wow, I'm f oh yeah, I put on, <laughs> I put on the sprint. <gasps> Papa! Oh, oh, he looks tired. Hey, Alley Cat, didn't I just tell you to go outside? Uh, dad, aw, what are you doing? Paying bills. Looks boring. It is boring. <laughs> but somebody's gotta do them. Can I keep talking to him? Uh, what's for dinner? Not sure yet. I was gonna go grocery shopping after this. See what I can make from there. Could we, uh, get, uh, what's it? Takeout? Why? Don't like my cooking anymore. <laughs> no, I'm just really in the mood for hot dogs. I don't think there's a takeout place for hot dogs, Alley Cat. <laughs> well, there should be. Maybe I'll make one, one day. I thought you were gonna be a baseball star. Oh, I didn't even think of that. <laughs> baseball stadiums are always handing out hot dogs. Win-win. Haha, <laughs> there you go. He seems so nice. Uh, can you help me practice baseball? Not today, but I'll plan some more time soon. Getting excited about tryouts, huh? Uh, yeah. That's why I wanna practice a lot. I gotta get in. Hey, I have no doubt you're gonna school all the other kids there. I hope so. Thanks. <laughs> Aww, they have a cute relationship. Can we play video games? You don't want me to play video games with you. Why wouldn't I? Is he gonna beat us? <laughs> Cause I'd kick your booty! Whoa, language! I'm an adult, I can say it. And can I say it? When you're taller than me. How tall are you? Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, that's super nice. All right, let's go outside. Uh, unless we can go to our room. I feel like going to our room. Oh, it's the plushies from It's Not Me in My Basement. The baseball theme friend sitting with his little buddy. Aw. Some drawers holding a lamp on it. The drawers are so empty. What a waste of space. Oh, did you guys just move again? You have no time to put stuff away. All right, let's go. Out oh, wait, that's not outside. All right, let's go outside. Ooh, the music. Alright, it is pretty nice out here. It's been almost a year since we moved into this house. Unlike the others, this one... Uh, unlike the others, this one, it looks like we'll be staying here for the foreseeable future. That's good. We're down by the shoreline, which means we get sand lining the streets and palm trees in our front yard. It's pretty hard to complain about being made to go outside with the weather like this all the time. The sun's always bright and shining, but the breeze that wafts in from the sea keeps things nice and cool. I'll always complain about getting sand in my sneakers, though. <laughs> uh, okay, la la la, we're playing outside. Maybe we can draw. There's some sidewalk chalk you left here. Sure, why not? What would you like to draw? Oh, <gasps> a cat, a snail, a crab. Well, we already are a cat, so let's not. Um, let's do a snail. go. Reminds you of a night. Oh, is that like, uh, is this like a monologue thing happening? Ooh! Oh, you can see the hearing aid. It's time to jump rope. Press the correct arrow keys from left to right before the timer runs out. Oh, uh, up, down, up, down, up, down! Ooh! Down! Okay. Jeez. Dang, I didn't realize I was so good at this. Yeah, we're great. And then we got, what is this, Jax? I keep hitting, you know what, maybe I should save. There we go. All right, cool. Oh, it's time to play jacks. Press the correct arrow keys from left to right before the timer runs out. Uh, to up, up, down. Uh. <laughs> Jack turns your hand. No, 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 no. Oh, it's kind of boring outside with no one to play with. Maybe a nine will let me camp out at her house till sunset. Wait, no, 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 no. We are gonna up, up, down. Eh, eh, eh. There we go! What is this? A little piece of paper. A missing poster has been attached to the trunk of the tree. It shows the picture of a young adult man. The poster states that he was last seen leaving work early for a date he had. There's a number to call if he should be found. Can we see what he looks like? This poster's been hanging here for weeks. Aw, that's sad. 
Um, is this a nice house? Hey, I was calling to you. Called it. Oh, 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 nice stash, bro. Dang, thought that aid was supposed to help you. For a cat with such big ears, you really can't hear scat, huh? Well, for a crab, you sure live up to the name. Son of a... <laughs> this is Pinsir Chase. He's a red crab that... He's a crab? He's a red crab that lives a little further down the block. When I first moved in, we got along pretty alright. He'd play with me a lot, and we even used to lend each other stuff. But these past few months, I don't know what happened, but he changed. He's always got such an attitude, and now he hates me for no reason. Maybe he has a crush on us. What are you doing out here? Playing with chalk? Jax? <laughs> Thought you would have outgrown that by now. Though, I guess I can't say much when the baby still carries around her dolly. Baby? What are you talking about? You're only two years older than me. Barely. And yet you act like you're ten years younger than me. Well, maybe I wouldn't have to be playing with such baby stuff if somebody returned my copy of Calamity Heroes. Ugh. Well, well, where is it, huh? It's my video game, and if you don't give it back, you're stealing from me. That's right, put your foot down. And I'm gonna tell my dad on you, and he'll make you give it back. Huh, <laughs> getting your dad on me. See, you are a baby. You can't even fight your own battles without calling daddy for help. I'm not a baby. You think you're so much more grown up than me just because you grew that gross caterpillar on your face? Yes! Whoa, he actually does have the claws. Oh, just what is happening out here? And night. Oh, that's my neighbor. Is she a fish? A night. A night is awesome. We're like best friends. We talk like all the time. She lets me help her with her garden in her backyard. And she brings over dessert on the holidays. And she smells really pretty all the time. She even babysits me sometimes if dad's gonna be on gone all night. One time I heard dad tell her that he appreciates her spending time with me. I think it's because all the other girls in my life left. Oh. But if there's only one girl in my life, I won't complain about it's it being a nide. Because a nide rules! Hi, a nide! Are we fighting out here? She started it! Nuh-uh! Yeah, huh all right, calm down. What's happening, Allie? Pinsir took my game forever ago and won't give it back. Pinsir, is this true? I was gonna. Hey, don't take that tone with me. I'll take whatever tone I freaking want. And I swear, should I tell your father about this? Our date's tomorrow night. <laughs> She's dating his dad, and I'm not afraid to bring it up to him during it. Don't tell, oh, tell him, I don't care. And pulling your claws out at me. Oh, I'm sure he'd love to hear this. The disrespect. Ugh, whatever. Who gives a crap? You suck and he sucks too. Jeez, he is going through it. Sorry for yelling out here and I. It's alright. Are you okay? Better now that you're here. Dad forced me to come outside and play while the sun's still out. But I knew I'd run into stupid old pincer if I did. Wish I could just go home now. Other than that annoying thing, it's just boring out here. I see. Lucky for you then. I'm also bored and I've got a matcha cake inside. I can't possibly eat all by myself. Oh heck yeah, this is why you're the best. <laughs> I try. Cute. Ah, oh, her place is nice. So, how is it? Everything I built up to be. Oh, this is so good. You, like, get flavors I never even heard of before. I don't know where you find these. <laughs> Happy to expand your horizons. Thanks for helping me out back there, too. pincer has been so annoying lately. Like, more than usual. Anytime, Allie. And I can't believe you're dating his dad. Ugh. I wonder if he thinks of you as, like, his stepmom or something. Stepmom? Goodness, you're thinking much further ahead than I am. I prefer to take things slow. Maybe that's why all the girls down by the shoreline call me such a snail. Oh, is she a snail? Oh, she is! Night, you are a snail. <laughs> I know, I know. But I don't think, I don't like to think of myself as a stereotype. 
Besides, being a snail isn't the only reason I like to take my time with things. You do everything better when you pace yourself, true. If anything, more people should learn to take it slow. Everyone's so rush, rush, go nowadays. Rushing just causes mistakes and leaves you in a mess. I think that's true. Allie, are you alright? And I... you don't think I'm too much of a kid, do you? Huh? Where did this come from? Spencer kind of makes fun of me for it. You know, playing with toys and jacks, carrying this old stuffed toy around. And I don't know, hearing you say what you just did. It's like a part of me wants to be grown up already, but also... Is it okay to, you know, take a little extra time getting there? Oh, Allie, of course. Everyone goes at their own speed. And even when you do grow up, it doesn't mean you have to stop being a kid at heart either. I mean, just look at me, for example. I like plenty of things one might call childish or even silly. Really? I wouldn't have guessed that. Like what? Well, for one, I have cake in my house much more often than I should. <laughs> and I keep every gift I get, regardless of how childish one might think they are. Stuffed toys, little figurines. I even keep the packages if they're pretty enough. I still remember one of my favorites being a little gift bag with a smiley clown on it. Do you get a lot of gifts in Eid? Well, I don't want it. I don't want it to sound like I'm bragging or anything. How come I never see him around then? Oh, I have them all stored away for safekeeping. It'd be much too messy if I displayed them all. And this way, I know they're safe. But I hope you might feel comforted in knowing that. Even grown-ups still like all the same fun stuff kids do. Yeah! We just tend to hide it more, that's all. Very true. You know, that actually does help me feel a little better. Thanks. You're really... Allie? Thanks for being my friend. I wish I was more like you. No, thanks for being my friend. Oh, aren't you just a little sweetie? Thank you for thinking of me so kindly. You've got a really big heart, Allie. I'm almost jealous. <laughs> oh, shoot. I wasn't even paying attention to the time. The sun's already setting. Should I, uh, get out of your hair? Normally, I'd like, I'd say you can stay as long as you like. But yes, might be a bit better for me if you leave now. I've got to get up early tomorrow, and I've still got to make a proper dinner and take a shower. No, yeah, it's totally fine. I'll catch you sometime at night. Thanks for letting me hang out. As I said, anytime. She's so nice! I like her. She's fun. Oh. I wonder if Dad made dinner. Oh, no. Ugh, what are you doing out here? Were you waiting here like a loser until I left at night? Ew, don't flatter yourself. As if I'd be waiting out here for you. I'm on my way home, dumb dingle. In case you forgot, I live on this street too. Don't call me a dumb dingle. Then stop being such a freaking dumb dingle. You know what? I hope Anai does become your stepmom. Excuse me? You could learn a thing or two from her. Like how to stop bullying the neighborhood girls like a big, dumb baby. Ain't that... <laughs> I ain't the freaking baby here. You sure look that way to me. Always whining and crying and throwing tantrums. Anyone would think you're a bigger baby than I am. Well, until they saw that ugly excuse of a mustache. Oh, frick you. Whoa. Hey, idiot, let go. You know, I wouldn't have to call you such a baby all the time if you just grew up already. <coughs> no. Where is it? What the heck? What's wrong with you? I, I don't know. I don't know why I did that. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. Really, I'm sorry. I, I gotta go. Where did he throw it? Tch, weirdo. What the heck was all that about? And he acts like I'm the one with a screw loose. Whatever. It's only a knight's house. Oh. Ugh, she must already be in the shower. I don't really want to wait till tomorrow to get it, but... Hmm, it it'll be fine. It's denied. She'll know to take good care of it for me. I just hope I can sleep alright without it. Hmm. Oh, 
What why happens if he just goes over there? Hey kiddo, have fun out there. Ugh, no, Dad. What's with the attitude? Cause I was right, and stupid Pincer was out there and he threw Tabby's doll into a knight's house. Pincer's really got you twisted lately, huh? Want me to talk with him? Or his dad or something? Be a big girl, not a big girl just yet. Um let's be a big girl. Maybe the next time you see Mr. Chase, if you wouldn't mind. Of course. Anything for my little girl. Yeah, that's not a bad thing. He's just being, like, really, really annoying. But, uh, next time you see Pincer, be a little easy on him, alright? Why should I? He's the one always starting things. He must have problems at home. I know, I know. But he's going through a lot, don't you think? Ain't easy when your dad starts dating someone new. Trust me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I know that for sure. And I'm not defending him. He's still in the wrong. But people usually don't act out for no reason. Most of them don't, anyway. Oh, All right, I get it, yeah. It made him think of his uh, her sister. I'll go easy on him. But if he... <sighs> I will try to go easy on him. Atta girl. Well, that's nice. That's a nice conversation that they needed. I had a rough time falling asleep that night. I really wanted Tabby's old doll back, but I was eventually able to relax enough to fall asleep. I reassured myself that a Nide would keep him safe and sound. The next morning, the first thing I did was stop by a Nide's house to try to get him back. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Can I save? Yay! I want to save. I know this game, I think this game has multiple endings. Maybe I have to look it up afterwards. Uh, a Nide! Pretty please? A Nide, hello? It's Allie! I wanted to know if you found my plushie last night? Oh... Hello? Uh-oh. There's no way she's still asleep at this hour. She must not be home. Gah. Okay. Ugh! Oh, dang it! Uh-oh. Okay. I definitely heard that. What was that? Did we look through the window? No. Door of your neighbor and night. It doesn't look like she's home right now. Oh, do we go left? Oh, oh, it's him. Oh, is he playing the video game that we have? Hello. Uh. Aw. Hey. Died to the boss. He seems fine. You're playing Calamity Heroes? Yeah. You said you wanted the game back, and I am gonna give it back. I just wanted to beat it myself first. He just needs a good friend. Hey, Pincer. Why are you so mean to me lately? I don't know. Is it because of an eyed? Maybe. Could be. I'm, uh, really sorry about what I did yesterday. If it means anything. I don't know what came over me. Please don't do it again. I'm sorry, too. Uh, let's apologize, too. I shouldn't have said all that mean stuff, either. No, it's fine. Don't sweat it. How far in the game are you? Can I see? Stuck on the cricket boss fight. Which stage? Did he get up to their form with all the eyes? Ugh, I didn't even know there was more than one stage. <laughs> Aw. Let me see where your, lo where your levels are at. Oh. You're playing as the girl avatar. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, that's normal for guys. Guys always play the girl avatar. I found that out, and I think it's odd a little bit, but you know what? To each their own. She, uh, looked cooler than the other pro tag options. Yeah, that's exactly why they do it. What'd you name her? Uh-oh. Oh, Claudie. I like that name. It sounds really cool. Yeah, you think so? Aw, for sure. Alright, sick. If you want to help being the boss, I know where to get some upgrades. Spill then, because grinding for EXP isn't any isn't exactly helping. Okay, first, you're gonna wanna backtrack a bit to the Cave of Shadows. There's a hidden waterfall where you can get a stronger sword. After that, head back into town and talk to the shopkeep. There you can buy a little 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 talking talking talking. Did he beat it? I don't even get to know. Ooh, dang! 
I thought we only get past Cricket. Didn't think we'd get past three more bosses after. Oh, nice! Forgot how fun that game was. Jeez, it's getting dark now, though. Wait, the night's lights are on. I can go ask for the doll back. Wait, a night's lights are on? Isn't she supposed to have that date with Mr. Chase tonight? No way she's home that early. Is she? Uh-oh. Did something happen to Chase? I knocked on a night's door, but to my surprise, her door was unlocked and it opened as soon as I touched it. I don't know what came over me. I probably should have went and told Dad or something. But I guess I was just so worried about her that I went inside to look. Uh... And I... This is not normal. Well, time to be Snoopy. There's some notes hanging on Anide's fridge. To-do list. Buy a new garden shovel. Clean the basement. Call Reginald and see if he'd like to go out next weekend. Do not take no for an answer. That's strange. Mr. Chase's first name isn't Reginald. Who's she writing about then? Oh, a nice kitchen and cabinets. You know better than to poke your nose through these. Okay. Well, what are these books about? Books? Books are fine. And also not your favorite way to spend your free time. <laughs> okay. The doors uh, open fine, but no trace of your doll can be seen inside. Go upstairs? Whoa, this is weird. Hold on. Can I go back downstairs? Dude, I don't know where to go. Like, I want to go upstairs. I'm going to save. <laughs> I think I need to save. All right. Night's wardrobe. Night's fashionable outfits hang inside. However, they offer no sign of a night or your missing plush. Okay. Nice stand beside a night's bed. It's full of mostly junk and jewelry. But I miss the trinkets. Could I use this? Received door key. Oh. Okay. Mmm. Bathtub shower came with a long orange curtain. It smells like shampoo. Yippee! I love shampoo. Let's save again. All right. So I'm assuming this is for one of the doors. What's this one? Behind this door is a hall closet. It is stacked to the top with all sorts of cleaning supplies. And still unopened or untouched. A night must have restocked recently. Oh man, is a night is a night the cannibalism warning? We unlock the door. No. Oh, we're fine. Save! <laughs> uh, uh. The basement storage unit. It's heavy and the handle's cold. Oh, up there's <gasps> oh. Oh. oh 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 she's so cool she's so trendy and cool she eats people yummy what about our plushie we're not going to sacrifice looking around for a plushie. I'm so scared. You grab the doorknob, open, and run home. But you hear someone coming up the walkway. I need to hide. Hide, hide, hide. No. Okay. Hide, hide. In the closet? You dive into the wardrobe, hoping not to knock over any clothes in the process. Allie? Oh. No! Wait! Wait! That can't be it. 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 Okay, shower, 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 shower. Shower, 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 shower. Or under the bed, under the bed, under the bed. You hurry under duck under the bed. What? No way! Please don't tell me that's it. Is there- is that, like... Uh... Is there not... No, I'm gonna get caught. What? Please don't tell me that this is the actual ending. There's no way. I feel like credits would roll on the actual ending, right? Maybe I should backtrack a little bit? I'm gonna backtrack a little bit, just so... Um... I'm gonna look around here first. An empty dresser with a lamp on top. There's a chest here. It's locked. If your plush is in here, you need another key to access it. Washer dryer, parasites in basement. Is your hamper full back at home? You don't remember. 
What if we leave prior? Where's the night? <sighs> oh, I don't. It's wet. It was recently used. The night's oven seems to be preheating. She has to be home, right? Hmm. Don't know. Oh, wait, what? Whenever you have food in a night's house, you always sit by her coffee table. You ever wonder if she uses this? Maybe that's a better place to hide? Hmm, I don't know. Can I even survive this? There has to be a way to survive this. Okay, all right, all right. Mm, no. Oh, okay. All right. So I'm. I guess I'm gonna try a couple more hiding options, and maybe I'll do the shower, and then under the that dining table. Uh, okay. All right. Oh no, everybody. That is so messed up. Is that her? Is that the dad? Like the the crab dad? Yep. Nasty. Or what if we hide beforehand? Can, is that a thing? Can I hide beforehand? No, you want to go home. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's hide here. You scurry under the hide table. What the freak am I supposed to do? All right, the last one is the shower. Oh, maybe out the window. Doesn't she have an open window somewhere? I don't know. Let's go upstairs. We go out the window? Okay, no out the window. Got it. <gasps> there we go. You hear the door open. Someone is in the room with you. It's getting harder to control your breathing. You have to try. <laughs> you hear the sink start running, and then it stops. It's quiet again. Do you want to get out of the shower now? No. You wait a few moments longer. Oh, good. Do you want to get out of the shower now? Yes. What are we doing? We need to get out of this house. Do you want to leave the room now? You start to back away from the door when someone's coming this way again. Bed. You hear someone into the room. You're in once again. You show it'll stay still and quiet. Don't move. Hold your breath. Don't let her know you're in here. Free! No! Damn it! Oh! Oh, that's so frustrating! Oh. <laughs> okay, I guess I'm gonna have to start saving a little bit more now. Great. At least I saved all the way up to this point. Oh, there we go. What's this under here? Receive strange key. Oh, that's for the chest downstairs. Uh, how are we gonna do that? Oh. Oh. Wait, no. I want- but we got the key. Thought I was home free. I was thinking my lucky stars before I was even out the door. I should have- I should not have done that. Allie? Oh. oh. Allie, what are you doing here? Did something happen? Is everything okay? Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, no, uh, everything is fine. I just, uh, I came in here because my doll was thrown to your house the other day. And when I knocked on your door, or when I knocked, your door was open. Oh, <laughs> silly me. I must have left it open when I came back home today. As for your little dolly, though, no worries. I put it away for safekeeping. I'll go get it for you. 
Oh, is she not going to have the key? And I left the room to get my plushie back for me. Looking back in that moment, probably should have just left. Actually, maybe not. That might have made it worse. I don't know. She came back and gave me the toy. And after that, I should have said thank you and left. Because I was just so nervous, I couldn't help but to keep talking. I still wish I hadn't. Aww. There you go. Safe and sound. But thanks, Anaid. I guess it's good you didn't go on a date after all. <laughs> oh, that? I've been waiting for him all night, but he hasn't shown up. Not even a call. Oh, sorry to hear that. Oh, it's all right. The night isn't a total waste. I know you just had some the other day, but I had bought a new cake for Mr. Chase and I to share. Since he's not here, you can get his slice if you like. R really? Awesome. Thanks. Here, you get a cake from the fridge, and I'll go get the nice china. Y yeah, sure thing. When do we get the free time to go in the basement again? I walked up to the refrigerator and opened the door. <gasps> Is that the dad? No! Oh, goodness. I really did swear I had moved it already. Oh. I suppose that's what I get for rushing. I turned my head up to her and said, Aw, you, you kill people. <laughs> oh, honey, I don't just kill people. I eat them. <laughs> she said it in such a silly way. The kind of tone a kindergarten teacher uses when telling her students a scary story. Clawing her sharp nails out in front of me before crackling, cracking into another laugh. As if she were pretending to be a spooky witch in a children's play. I mean, can you blame me? Mr. Chase was such a handsome man, and so polite with me too. Who wouldn't want to eat him right up? Though, he was a bit of the jealous type. If he found out that he's not the only date to wind up like this, I think he'd have been a little upset. I wish I could feel like that sometimes. Jealous. It'd mean I have connection I had I'd have a connection I really care about. Like you and I! We're close, aren't we? When you told me before. Thank you for being my friend. That felt really nice. It must have felt a lot lighter to love your heart instead of your stomach. But it doesn't does it ever stay as full? Oh! I don't like her. Oh, I mean, that's just because. What? You're not going to tell anyone. You can promise me that, can't you? Uh, oh, whoa, really? Y yeah, of course. What else was I supposed to do? I would have said anything to leave. <laughs> oh, we're terrified. Uh, um, well, what happens if I break the promise? She's just gonna kill us. Dude, she looks so creepy. I asked her. She just stared at me. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh, and then she started laughing. <laughs> Stop! Like, what I just said was really funny. <laughs> Stop. 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 Enough. I get it. The last words I remember hearing from her were, Good night, Allie. And she gently shooed me out her front door. And I walked home. Don't kill my dad. Hey, Allie Cat. There you are. It was getting late. I'm starting to get worried about you. Y yeah, sorry, Dad. I was just, uh, at night. Yeah, I figured. Hope a night didn't fill you up on sweets too much while you were there. Dinner's ready. Come sit. I dare say I outdid myself tonight. Oh. <laughs> yeah, not, I'm not really, can we get a vegetarian meal? Vegan? Anything else? I'm not really into meat. Maybe chicken? No. I didn't get any sleep that night. Oh. All I could do was sit up in bed and stare across the street at a knight's house. As if waiting for something to happen. Like I'd see her walk out the door and start making her way towards my house. That didn't happen, though. Eventually, the lights in her house went off. But I still didn't go to bed. I just sat up there and kept watch. Wow. 
and I stayed that way until morning. You need sleep, though. If you're hoping for some gruesome end to this story, like her coming after me or my father or something, you'll be sorely disappointed. I kept my promise, and she left me alone. And nothing ever happened to her, either. When Mr. Chase was declared missing, she allegedly told the officers that he never showed up for their date. And I guess she cleaned up really well because I didn't see them bother again after that. The Chase kids ended up being taken by in by their aunt down the block. Aw. And eventually, Mr. Chase's case went cold. I hope he's not mad at me for that. I like to think he'd understand. <sighs> I didn't really see a night after that, either. I didn't want to. When it came to things like babysitting, I told Dad I was too old for that now and I could stay home alone. When he'd ask me if I had visited her lately, I would sometimes lie and say I did, so he wouldn't think anything was weird. I wonder if she ever told him otherwise. I guess I'll never know. Three years later! Oh my gosh! Are we still living in the same house? Is she still living in the same house? Oh, we grew up- Oh, look at us! Look at us! That brings us to today. Did we have it? Are we gonna snap? Oh, and I doesn't live here anymore. She hasn't for a while. And I'm not really sure where she went. I remember some moving trucks in front of her house one day. And she left with them. And that was that. She didn't live here anymore. And no one else ever moved in either. Now it's just the old abandoned house on the block. I won't be surprised if neighborhood kids start saying it's haunted. Might as well be. Ugh. I still haven't told anyone. I promised I wouldn't. And there's some part of me that feels like, no matter where she is, or what she's doing right now, she'll know if I break it. Allie! Who is she? Claudie! Hey! You were staring pretty intensely at Anide's old place. You're still not mad about the time I threw your dolly- Oh! In there, right? Come on, babe. I apologized for it like a bazillion times now. Haha, <laughs> no. We're cool with that now, I swear. Okay, good. I was just coming to get you because me and the other girls were heading to the arcade. And we wanted to invite you. But I see you've got all your gear on, so if you're too busy with practice or something... Uh, but maybe in a bit. There's just some stuff I gotta do around here first. Chores and all, you know? Alrighty then, we're gonna be hanging the whole day, so just text if you want to join in later too. Sounds good. Thanks, Crab Cakes. I'll meet up with you guys later. Dang. Oh. Oh, can we go in the basement? Open the chest? Oh, I don't like it. The door wasn't even locked. Last time I stepped foot in this house, that was that night. Sometimes after so many years. I find myself wondering if it even really happened. Maybe I just had some crazy- Maybe I had some crazy bad dream. Or maybe that's what I like to tell myself. But I didn't think that. After so long, with so much dust, this place would still smell like her. Uh, Basement! Oh, wait, no. Whoops. Never seen one so empty. My bad. Basement! <laughs> yep, there it is. What if we- Nothing worth opening in this unit again. You don't even want to risk it. You tell yourself there's nothing inside, and you hope that's true. Here we go. Last night I was here. I found a key hidden under a knight's bed. I was never sure what it was for. I always kept it on me. I'm sure it must be for this. You put the key into the lock. The chest opens. You kneel down and begin to shuffle through the contents. And note at the very top of everything inside reads, Gifts from my past lovers. It puts a bit of a knot in your stomach as you begin to dig through them. The first thing you pull out is a teddy bear. Its fur is red, and it's holding a velvet red heart. The pink ribbon around its neck is dotted with hearts as well. Stop! I'm so nervous! It's gonna jump scare me! The next gift you pull out isn't a gift at all. It's a gift bag. One with a smiley cloud on it. There's nothing inside anymore. Well, there's an envelope. That's empty too. You assume this whole gift was for her birthday. But you have no way of knowing. This gift also really isn't a gift. It's a letter. Dear Anide, I hope you don't find it too cheesy that I'm writing this in a letter. 
I'm a bit old school sometimes. But I'm also dumping this in your mailbox because I think it's a bit hard to say it to your face. I know we've already been dating for a little bit, but I just wanted to let you know that I like you. I really like you. I always thought that opposites attracts was just a myth, but after meeting you, I'm starting to believe it. I don't think I've ever fallen for anyone this badly. Every time I see you, it's like there's butterflies in my stomach. But despite the butterflies, I also feel so comfortable around you. Like I could tell you anything and you listen. And you do listen. And even with all my fricked up baggage, you still ask to take me out again and again. I'm so happy with you and I. Or I'm so happy with you. And I just really wanted you to know that. You're everything. I don't know where I'm going with this. Just consider it a love letter. I love you and I'd. And I hope you like the pictures too. They came out really nice. I think we look cute together. Excited to join you for dinner later. Your girlfriend. <gasps> oh, no way. You gotta be freaking kidding me. Tabby. Oh, I got chills. No. Our first date. Her sister. just pure silence oh i hate that oh i hate that so much oh oh that's so messed up that hurts that hurts so much thank you for playing is there like a bad ending or anything like that i wonder that was really good dude i love the games that um that this creator makes. They're freaking gorgeous, man. All right, let me see if I can pull up the, there we go, if that works. Hopefully that's working. Is there a true, uh, one normal ending and one true ending? What's the normal ending? Would the normal ending be me not looking for it? Mm, mm -mm -mm. I wonder. Dude, I'm so far back though. I'm so far back. Oh, oh, I don't. Should I try to figure out what the ending is? <laughs> Sobbing violently, that true ending broke me. Oh, okay. Uh, I guess I'm gonna, um, I guess I'll try to not open the chest and leave the house. Like, look around and leave the house and then see. But, yeah, it's gonna take me a freaking minute now of so much talking. Okay, I am here. So now what if I just leave? Okay, that's not an option. <laughs> you remember this window having long curtains? I must have liked them too much to part with them. Okay. Memory serves. This dresser used to contain lots of jewelry. All of it is gone now. Bookcase. And all of its books have been left here. You guessed to a nine. Books are only decoration. Alright. It's probably best to leave the shower, Bee. Moisture in the air has probably created mold behind the curtain. Ew! Reflection is obscured by dust and grime on the mirror. Maybe it's better that way. Oh, well, that's sad. Uh, there has to be. I wonder if like the normal ending is just me dying. I can't leave. Shockingly, and Ide's old fridge still has some notes of hers left on it. You're a bit disturbed to see that your birthday's listed here. Underneath your birthday is the word cake. You assume that maybe she was planning to deliver you one. Maybe she even invited you over on your birthday. But in your past birthday since then, you were never invited over or received a cake from her. You wonder what year this was for. You have it so dusty. Looks like it's no longer in use. The cabinets are completely empty. Water doesn't run anymore. For some reason, it makes you feel relieved. <laughs> the cabinets are completely empty. Books. Books. I want to just leave. Most of the furniture has been removed during Ned's move, but mysteriously, this unit remains. There's nothing left inside it, though. Nothing but dust, anyways. Closet, empty. All right, now can we leave? No, I just, yeah. It really wants us to be here. Um, Maybe they were too outdated by the time she left. An empty dresser with a drawer and lamp on top. Some things never change. Nothing, don't want to risk it. You tell yourself there's nothing inside and you hope that's true. I'm sure you would have smelt it by now. I, I, I wonder what the normal ending is if it's just me dying. This seems so linear. I didn't really make a bunch of different choices other- The only choice I would have made to be different is if we said that 
the thing that we said was um that we wish we were like her instead of thank you for being my friend but i i don't i don't see that i don't know but we don't i don't think we really have a choice ah that's so sad uh, true ending oh here we go oh Wait, what? We could just like... Could we just like choose to... What? I wanted to invite you, but I see you got your gear together so you're busy with practice something. Uh... Ooh, what? So there is a way... To, to be different about it? Okay, so I see that you make the promise. I wonder, what did this person say to her at the beginning? That's what I really want to figure out. Uh, right around here. We're gonna take things slow. And so the girls call me such a snail. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna speed it up a little bit. Oh, it is. It is. That one choice. That one choice. I wish I was more like you. I guess changes like the smallest interactions. Like here, she'll talk about it like, oh, you know, you said you wish you were like me. Bone apple teeth. I've been waiting for him all night. He hasn't showed up. And then we talk about it. Because when you told me before, I wish I was more like you, that felt really nice. And then that all stays the same. Oh, is it also because we didn't get the key? That's another thing. Let's check the hiding spot. That actually might determine it a lot better. Can I use this? See, door key. Okay. So, where you hear someone in the room? Can you hold your breath? <sighs> Did she come out of the closet? Yeah, that's that's what happened. That's the indicator. So if you hid in the closet, you have like no reason to go in because you have no you don't have the key that's from under the bed. So that was just by like sheer like chance. Okay. And then I guess at the end you just go and 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 play. How do we? How do we? Let me. Yeah, I can come. I can use for a good trip. Sick. Let's go. And then I don't know what happened to a nine. Oh, I'm okay with that. But if I never know, sorry, it's been easier to be, despite all the mental issues. I've been okay. I've got a pretty li all right life. And I'm trying not to feel guilty about enjoying it. When I think about a night, I always remember that the thing she said. Something about loving your stomach. Okay. I hope for the sake of others, at least. She learned some way to keep them both full. <laughs> that? Yeah. Oh, that's cute. That's a cute one, too. Seeing them together happy. Instead of freaking crying her eyes out. <laughs> crying her eyes out knowing that she ate her sister. I think... For this situation, ignorance would have been bliss, and she shouldn't have known, and that just her sister just whew, vanished, but... Man, this was a great game, too. Oh, I don't know which one. So does she, like, turn them into cake, or does she actually turn them into meals? Because she seems to offer cake a lot. Maybe she uses something about them for cake. That sounds gross as frick. Um, but yeah, that was... Uh, my neighbor Anide. That was so great. We also have a couple more games we could play. Sweet No Death from them. I don't know if this is a good one. Fia's Night Out. Blackout Hospital. I saw this one. This one looks interesting. Cemetery Mary and then My Wishmaker. That's a new one. But yeah, My Neighbor Anide. Oh, I think, oh, if I had to, like, tear it. If I, I think I liked it. I liked it more than Crow Scare. And I, I think I like I think this one's top. I think it would go My Neighbor and I and then Crow Scare and then It's Not Me, It's My Basement. It's Not Me, It's My Basement. That ending was just so sad. Oh, my heart. 
but my neighbor and I, I like that. That was great. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I know it's a longer video for my first time back. I just really wanted to get into something and um, just, yeah, just thank you guys so much for watching. And um, I appreciate all the support that I've been getting when I was gone on my trip. And just thank you for such a good growing community. I appreciate you guys so much and I hope you guys have a blessed day. Bye guys!